So I sat down to pray, and the Lord taught me to turn to Matthew 5, verse 18, where it says, I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until the purpose is achieved. So if you ignore the least commandment and teach others to do the same, you will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys God's laws and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So this Matthew 5, verse 18, where it says, I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until the purpose is achieved. It reminds me of Genesis 1, where it says, God spoke and it was so. Think about that. God spoke. And it happened exactly how he spoke it. So the scripture is God speaking. And it will happen exactly how it says. So if it says that it's going to happen exactly how it says in the Bible, wouldn't it be pertinent to read it? I know that sounds kind of silly with everything that's going on in the world right now. There's so much happening. There's so much on your social media feed. There's so much hitting you. And yet here is this book, free for the most part, out there. The Word of God is screaming at us to read it, to get to know what is going to actually happen. I, I thought that that was silly. I, didn't, I thought that I could get enough by just sitting in church and absorbing what the pastor wrote. Or what he said. But that's like watching someone else eat a meal to satiate your hunger. Let me explain. Well, two years ago, I was in a very dark place and I was at core class and bitter, struggling with alcoholism. And I asked the Lord to raise me from the spiritual dead. And he did. He did immediately. It was almost like he was waiting for me to ask. And I'd asked so many times before, but this time, somehow it was different. And he did something in me. And what that included was a hunger for his word. Now, it didn't happen right away. It really didn't. It was like, okay, Rebecca, I'm going to have you join the worship team first and get around like believers. And then I'm going to have you sing these worship songs. And then you're going to be curious as to what these worship songs mean. And it's going to seek my word, make you seek my word. And then all of a sudden you're just going to be going down rabbit holes. I never thought that I would love the word of God like I do. But the more me and this small little band of 12 women, um, sometimes 10, sometimes seven, sometimes three, get together and we dive into the word of God. We are blown away at the amount of life, at the sovereignty of God, that he is so much bigger and so much more in control than we think we know. And this world is bombarding us with messages and we are being filled with messages whether or not we think we are. If you're scrolling on TikTok, you're being filled with messages. If you're scrolling, heck, you're hearing this message because you're scrolling on social media. <laughs> but you know what, that, that's an opportunity for us to get into the Word now. And we're going to be spending the rest of eternity with God. We have the opportunity to spend time with Him now. The least of these messages, if you ignore the least of these commandments, love God, love one another. It'll, it'll take everything in you to do those two things to turn away from yourself and to serve others. It'll, it'll take every ounce of strength that you have. But I cannot tell you the amount of life, the amount of love and peace and joy that I have seen. And it, it comes at a cost. I have been called a hypocrite because I have tried to keep people accountable to the Word of God that they say they follow. Um, I have been 
uh, falsely accused. I have been demeaned. I have been rejected by family members. It comes at a cost. But I'm telling you, know, the more that I dive into the Word of God, the more amazing God becomes and the more I realize how in control he has in this world and in my life. How much love he has, how much knowledge he has, how intimately he knows us so well that he knows us better than we know ourselves. But that he isn't just a distant God, that every amount of suffering that we deal with on a humanity basis, he chose to come down and do himself through Jesus. And the more I read, the more I realize the truth, it is not difficult to perceive, and it's not found in nature, though nature worships the truth and points to the truth. It isn't the truth. All this to say, if you are not getting into the Word of God, find a group. You can join our study or um, find one that you can you can do. There's tons of opportunity out there for free to study the Bible. YouVersion. YouVersion has all the Bible versions for free. Read it. Dive in. Your God is waiting to speak with you, waiting to transform your life. It just takes a moment of your time. You would sit down and eat a, a meal if you were hungry. Sit down and spend time in the Word of God because your soul is hungry. Have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless.